everyone. Welcome back to the Book Vandal Shop. So I have a um, Your Creative Studio unboxing for today. This is the July box, I believe she said, um, that she was sending. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So like I said, this is from Your Creative Studio. I'll make sure I put the links below. You've seen me open several of her boxes before always full of a fun variety of supplies. So, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. So usually the card is um, matching to the theme. I don't to tear the paper. I like to reuse the papers. A lot of the packaging can be reused. Fun. Okay. So, if you've been with my channel very long, you've seen me open these boxes, so you know the drill. Um, she always includes cling stamps and stickers and coordinating papers. So, let's see what today's is. Oh, this is so cute. It's a tea set. You're all right, Carly. Eat your food, baby. Uh, it has a teapot and flowers and a little creamer bowl and a teacup, saucer, and spoon. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully that's picking up. And then this one's a little teacup with flowers. Very cute. Very cute. And then I reuse all the packaging. So if I can get the labels off um, nicely, I reuse the little envelopes that these things come in, um, all in my projects. Okay, and this is another stamp. This one's cute. This one looks like a stack of teacups. How cute. And it is, so this one is three little teacups in a stack. Um, I've used um, all the stamps that she's ever sent me. I've used them all, and they make great um, impressions. So they're always full of detail, lots of detail, and, and they give really nice stamping results. Oh, this is cute. It is a bunny with a hat on in a teacup. Oh, he's supposed to be like the rabbit, like the white rabbit, because he has a little pocket watch. That's cute. I'm trying my best to get the camera to pick that up. It does not want to put it into focus, does it? Maybe if I zoom it. Aha, there you go. I think you can see it now. Yeah, there's that guy. And then these little stacked teacups. Very cute. A sticker sheet of teapots. So cute. We have some papers. Let's see what these are. I think she said in her message that she was sending the July set and that it was tea party and garden or tea and garden, something like that. So I guess we can expect flowers and tea. These are cute little papers. And some of them are like vellum papers. You can see through them. Yeah, these are vellum here in the back. Neat. These are cute. Okay. So there's that. This is... Oh, okay. These are like pop culture from the mid-50s. and textures. 
And then we also have in the package, there are some stickers. These are cute. Um, little milkshake cups, sunglasses, uh, cake on a plate, pink Cadillacs, or I don't know. That's probably not a Cadillac. I'm not a car person, but <laughs> pink, pink car. Cute. Ah, oh, so a little, little, uh, cut out of a lady mid century. These are cute. These would actually go really well with, um, a journal that I've got planned in the works, which is going to be like mid-century um, kitchen journal. So like from the 40s, 50s, 60s. Okay. I better put those back in the packaging or I will have them scattered everywhere. I will make sure I put her links below for your creative studio so you can see a box or find a box for your own um, and see what all boxes she has available. So this is a past box. If you sign up for the subscription service where you pre-order ahead of time the, the up and coming boxes, you get a discount if you sign up for like more than one month at a time. If you sign up for two, three, or four months, you get a discounted rate. And then, yeah, and then if you pre-order a box, it's also cheaper than it is to buy, like, one from the past. So, something to keep in mind. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, I love these. I can't wait to use these. Little envelopes. Look at these. Aren't these pretty? Oh, I love them. I love them so much. They're nice and heavy duty too. Oh, look at these stacked teacups. Two of those. And this is a floral one. Oh, these are adorable. This one has a bird cage and flowers. Basket and flowers. Oh, these have butterflies on the flap. I love these. I think these are super cute. I, that's one of my favorite things you've ever sent. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make me happy, does it? Okay, what's in this little box? I think I'm going to need my scissors. Box. Oh, okay. And inside we have some stickers, I believe they will be. They look, look like they're labels. Little vintage labels. Oh, that one has a lady on it. And birds, and a bird, plain labels. Those are cute. And I imagine they are probably sticky. Yep. Sure are. Cute. Put those in there. Okay. What else? Okay, what's in this? Poems about roses. Oh, cute. It looks like it's a little book cover. It just holds, it holds papers inside of it. See, all the packaging for these little things. It's always so pretty. So this is totally reusable. But it's just the packaging. And inside are these beautiful papers. 
So here's a vellum. Here's the other one. Cute. Big variety in here. Neat. Those are neat. I feel like there's a lot of them in there. Um, dozen. Oh, I think it's. I think there's twenty. Yeah, I think it says there's twenty. Okay, so there's those. And what do we have here? Ooh. Retro flowers. So a whole mix of flower stickers, and they are like a vellum sticker, so they're clear, or have the clear background. These are pretty. All kinds of various flowers in there. Oh, these are definitely... Definitely going to be used. All right, that was just half of them. There's a whole bunch of them in there. A whole bunch of them. 60 of them, I do believe. Okay. Um, let's see what's in this. This is, oh, washi tape. There's always a roll. At least one roll of washi tape in the boxes. So it's pretty. It has coordinating flowers on it. It matches the, the papers and the other little embellishments. Okay. Ooh, that's neat. So then we have a sticker paper. It has. I can see what they are. They're um, they're they're like die cut stickers in a patterned paper. So let's see if I can get one to at least come up enough that you can see it. So this one's going to be a butterfly. There, you can start to see it now, right? That one's a butterfly. This one's. Um, can't tell. I got a lot of butterflies. This one's a stamp shape. You can see that on there. Very pretty. I like this packaging. This is cute. That can be reused as well. A bunch of stuff in there. Oh, there's stamps, stamp strips. Stamp strips. <laughs> and they are sticker paper. So there's butterflies on there. I think, are they all butterflies? They're all butterflies. So different stamp replicas. This one, these are not stamps. These are just pretty butterfly pictures. So you could leave these as a strip, use the whole thing as a strip um, when you're embellishing, or you could cut them apart and use them like individual stamps. Pretty. 
Ooh, that one's really pretty. Oh, these look like tickets. How cute is that? So again, you could leave them in a strip or cut them apart. Ticket shape, more ticket shapes. Some more ticket shapes. Cute. These are like old illustrated butterfly book uh, pictures. So you could kind of use this like washi. There's the other one. It looks like there's been two of each one so far. <laughs> it was tucked behind. Big variety in here. Cute. So there are, let's see if it tells me how many pieces are in here. 40, I think. This seems about right. And then the packaging is um, on a cardboard uh, envelope with the cellophane window. So that, that's cute. I could reuse that in a journal. Okay. Try to speed it up a little bit. Sorry, guys. All right. Last thing. Yep. Last thing is the papers, the coordinating paper set. All right. It contains 24 sheets. Six sticker papers, six vellum papers, six art papers or art, artisan papers, uh, and six uh, just regular pattern papers. So, yep, that's per the normal with these boxes. Pretty packaging. We use those. So, yes, just like always, there'll be. Six patterns. So here's one. Here's another pattern. Another. There's butterflies, flowers, and teacups. This is a cute um, theme. So these are the sticker papers. Then we have six regular papers. So they're just going to be plain white on the back. Uh, thin white paper, so and in the same patterns as the other. The six, hang on, guys, my battery's dying. Okay, sorry about that. So we have the six plain papers and the six sticker papers. Now we have the six um, art papers or artisanal papers, uh, and so they're usually a textured paper, almost like a linen or a wallpaper. Um, paper uh, in all of the patterns and then the last set is the same six patterns and these will be in vellum so this is usually the norm in the boxes okay, so that's the matching paper set so we'll go back through it one more time really quickly we've got the um, 24 sheets of coordinating paper put that back in the box we had the butterfly sticker strips. We had the sheet of die cut stickers in different shapes. Looks like that one is a teapot shape there. Um, then we had the washi tape. We had the vellum um, stickers, uh, flower stickers. Then we had the set of vellum papers, butterflies and flowers. We had the little matchbox full of the label stickers. We had the envelopes um, that I oohed and awed over. <laughs> we had the um, pattern papers and the uh, 1950s um, stickers. 
a sheet of teapot stickers. I had this little pack of paper that had plain papers and vellums in the coordinating colors. And then we have the cling stamp. I, can't remember if there, I think there was two in this packet. Yes, the two cling stamps in here. That was the tea set and then the teacup. on camera but that's hard to do. So we have those two cling stamps and then we have these two cling stamps, the stacked cups and the rabbit in the teacup. And that was that box. So that was the July 2023 box. If you're interested I will make sure to put the link below. Thanks for stopping by and unboxing another cool box from your creative studio. Take care guys. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.